Hi, my name is Kelly and welcome to Therapy Designs, the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If you're new to print-on-demand and t-shirt designing and would like to see some useful videos and step-by-step -step instructions on how to create different designs each week, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. I've been using Canva for over a year now to create different print-on-demand designs for Merch by Amazon, Amazon Seller Central, Etsy, and Redbubble. If that's something that you're interested in learning how to do, please subscribe. So in today's video, we're gonna be learning how to put photos inside frames using Canva. So we'll be creating this design right here. It says human. And what I've got in here are some different skin tones, red blood cells, a pride flag, some world flags and the strand of DNA. And then we've gone ahead and put an outline around the image. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're starting with a blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard design uh, size for Merch by Amazon t-shirts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on my design and we're gonna start with a black background. So I'm gonna come up into the left-hand corner, hit background color, and then I'm gonna select black. Okay, so this is what we'll be designing on. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to use frames. So you'll find frames up in the elements section on the left. So if you go up to the top tab here, hit elements. And up here, we're gonna go ahead and search. We can just search frames. Or if you see down here suggested, sometimes it's down here, it says lines, shapes, frames. That is what you're gonna be looking for. So when you click on frames, you'll see a whole bunch of different shapes come up. And when you see this image in the background that looks like some hills and a sky, that means that you can drop a photo into it. So for example, I can take any shape I want. So let's just say I take this one. That's just a square, that's boring. <laughs> or this one. And now if I was to search for photos, just any photos, here's some photos down here, we'll just click. I can take any photo I want and drop it in. And so you can see I can do that and it'll make it whatever shape I selected. I can also edit where they're placed in the size by double clicking. So if I double click on the image, it's gonna pull up the image over the shape. Now I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can decide where I wanna place it. And so that is how we are going to use frames for our image today. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna come back up to frames. Oops, back to photos and back to frames. Perfect. Now in frames, you'll find not only shapes, but you'll find letters too. So if you wanna spell out a word, all we have to do is select the letters that we want. So I'm just gonna scroll down. And for today's design, we're gonna be writing human. So I'm gonna grab an H here and I'm gonna shrink it way down. And then a U, shrink it way down, an M, and shrink it way down, back, A, and then N. And perfect. So now it's gonna say human. Now. I want all of these letters to be evenly sized and evenly spaced. So right now, as I'm looking at the sizes here, that one's gonna be a little too big. The H is probably a good size. So if I put the H where I want it, you'll see these guidelines pop up. So I'm gonna bring the U over. I'm gonna bring it until I get that bottom guideline there. So now it's in line with the H. And then I'm gonna shrink it down until it's aligned with the top of the H. Perfect, and I'll see that other guideline. So I'm gonna do that for each letter, bring the M over, you see my guideline. And then I'm gonna adjust the height until it is the same as the others. One more time. Perfect, and then last one with the N. Good. 
So now they are all the same size, they're all the same height. Uh, one way to double check this if you want to is if you come up to file at the top, you can click on that. And here it says show rulers and show guidelines. So we can go ahead and click both of those if we want to. And so now you'll see some rulers have popped up. So these are really handy. I can click anywhere up here that I want and I can pull a line down. And so then I can make sure that I'm perfectly aligned and I can use that for the top too. So that's a nifty trick that you can use for any of your designs if you're trying to line them up perfectly. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now another neat trick that you can do because I want these all spaced out evenly is if I click and drag over all of them, I've now grouped them together. And then I can come up here in the right hand corner, it says position. If I click on that, there's a feature way down here that says tidy up. And what tidy up will do is it will evenly space any items that you have that are grouped together. So I'm gonna click tidy up. And now they are all perfectly evenly spaced. So now I have my human ready to put some photos in. So we're gonna come back up here and I'm just gonna start searching for photos that I wanna use. So for this design, I'm gonna start, I want to have some skin tones. So different skin tones to represent different races. And I've already searched for this. So I'm gonna skin tones. And now whenever we're using uh, frames, you have to pick photos. So it won't work with graphics. So for example, this is a graphic. If I try to put it in here, it won't work. So I can only use photos uh, for frames but I can show you an easy way to get around that later. But for now, I'm just gonna hit photos. And now I've got different photos to go from. Now I kind of like this one here. This is just, uh, looks like foundation in different shades. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna drag it right over the H. And if you see, it's gonna go right inside. And now I have my H. So for the U, this time I'm gonna do some red blood cells. So I'm gonna hit red and blood cells. Again, sticking with photos. And then I can pick any picture I want. There's a whole lot of different good ones. But let's just say I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to drag it into the U. And now I've got some red blood cells. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do an LGBTQ flag. So let's see if I look this up. I've already used it. Perfect, so I've got some different pride flags to choose from. Um, so you can pick any of these images that you like if you just want it to be a nice kind of flat color. I could do something like that. It's gonna be a little dark, but there you go. Um, next one. Let's say I do some world flags. So I'm just gonna go with national flags. Again, I can pick any image I like. So there's some of just flags flying, and that's kind of cool. I can scroll down, see if I find anything better that I like more. And you can always try out a lot of different, um, different images. Okay. So I might change my search terms here. I might go with maybe world flags. Oops, I don't know if I spell it right. World flags, let's try, oh. So here we go, I kind of like this. So this is a giant image of a bunch of different flags. Got some world flags here, some flying world flags. Okay, I like this better. Individual flags. So you can see we can pick any of these images we want. So I'm just gonna take this one and I can replace any image I want by just going right over the top of it. And now I've got that one in here. Now this is a good example. As you can see, this image here wasn't quite tall enough to fill in the entire A, so I don't know you can tell, but it doesn't quite go to the top or the bottom of the A, so we're gonna have to make it larger. So I'm gonna double click on the image, and I'm going to drag it out, 
and so it covers the top and the bottom of the A. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then lastly, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a DNA strand. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna type in DNA. Still on photos. I'm gonna scroll down, see if I find any good pictures of DNA that I like. Oh, I like that one, that's kind of bright. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So now I have human with all of my images that I like in it. Now what I wanna do, because it's a little hard to read, is put an outline behind it. So I wanna outline each of these letters with white. The easiest way to do this, if you want to outline an image, is to actually save this whole thing as one image and I'll show you we're gonna save it as one image and then we're gonna pull it up so I'm gonna come over here to download I'm gonna hit transparent background and I'm gonna download it okay, it goes pretty quick okay so now it is down here on my tabs down here, I'm gonna bring it up into uploads. So if I click uploads, I can just drag, drag and drop. And it will upload it. While this is uploading, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my image and I can upload it like that. Okay, so now this is all one image. I've saved the whole thing as one image, so I can get rid of each of these individual ones. And I can take my one image here, and now I can edit it the way I would a photo. So to do that, I click on it. I come up to edit image. I'm gonna go with shadows. And if you pick the glow feature, that's gonna give you a shell all the way around each one of these letters. So I'm gonna click here. Perfect. And now I've got some controls I can play with. So I want the shadow color to be white. So I'm gonna select white. I'm gonna get rid of the blur. I don't want any blur. I'm gonna get rid of the transparency so that it's bright. And now I'm gonna bring up the size to whatever size I like the outline to be. So if I want a really thick outline, I can do that. If I want a thinner outline, I can come here. I'm gonna go with that. Now to make this save, you can hit apply, or if you click anywhere away from here, it will automatically apply it. So if I was to just come over and click, it's now applied. Now sometimes it takes a second to sort of finalize, so I give it a second. And when it's all done, yeah, it should just be one little box just like that. So now I can resize it however I want. So if I click that, can now resize it and place it wherever I want. And there we go. Then that's your design. It says human. I've got my image in here. It's perfectly outlined, perfectly spaced. So I'm just going to go ahead and title it and save it. So, oops, human. And just like before, we're going to hit download, transparent background, so I can put it on any shirt color I like. And then I'm just going to download the image. And that's it. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos on how to create similar designs, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.